Hello, dear people, big and small. This is Faye TV. After a long, long holiday, long, long spare time, long, long time, no YouTube. Here we're going to play a game for all girls, big and small, because some of my pen pals actually inquired about my most important pen paling tool. We are playing in my purse. So yeah, you might notice I like a bird thing. The family hat of the day is a leopard from a Christmas market. Then a uh, yeah, leopard scarf, leopard shirt, <laughs> leopard whatever you call this, cardigan. I also have leopard socks, but there is like no way to get my feet up on the table. <clears throat> so, this is the purse that I have mentioned to many of my friends because it follows me wherever it goes and it actually comes from a dollar store. It says, this is a small suitcase according to the label, but uh, like, you know, people also become something different beyond their labels depending on what they are doing well at. I mean, I am a trained philologist and ethnologist, but I actually work as an art teacher and I really love it. So, in my fabulous new purse, we have, of course, a Leo. Named Car Campbell. And I've had him for 15 years. A picture of a Leo that was born during one of my various art sessions at a coffee shop. One of the few animals in my purse that's not a Leo, but still, I love the black and white contrast. It's that. So, if anyone has a leopard book that you really don't need anymore, don't hesitate to send it to me. You get a really nice painting in exchange. Crayons. Now I forgot to hold my finger over the pen label, but well, just forget it. Water soluble crayons is the most important name for that stuff. Phone. Hello. It's not like everybody needs to phone me non stop. Watercolor postcards. Fly, fly away. Okay, yeah, my friend tried his luck with the watercolor postcards and water soluble crayons as well. You can win this picture because it's really unique. Letters to answer. Paper to answer the letters. Prettier paper to answer the letters. A Leo hairbrush. A pencil sharpener, which is nonsense because I don't have pencils in my purse. Because my drawings are usually made with not with strings, but this is a friendship bracelet, because friendship hopefully lasts forever. Color brush pens, ball pens, ball pens with a really fancy design. Decorative puncher, that's a fish. 
with a lot of fantasy. Play with your fantasy. Uh, Napkin, uh, which is actually, okay, of course, used for the obvious purposes, but also for drawing cartoons on there with my lovely friend. Hmm. La, 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 la. Let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, money, just in case anyone has ever wondered what Icelandic money looks like. Um, does it say what church this is? No, uh, at least I don't see anything. Um, this is not that much money if, I, if I'm lucky. I get a day's portion of food for that. Uh, this side is a gentleman with a book or a Bible, Brynjö uh, Sveinsson, it says, but I have to admit, I probably have this guy in my hands every day, crushing him a lot, but um, I don't know what he did in Icelandic history. If you really want to know, I'll research it. And this is the, the one krona, the smallest unit of money. Uh, people used to make fun of that directly after the bank crash, like drilling holes into it and wearing it as earrings. I collect one kronas actually to, for fun and for a bit with the post lady that I actually would pay one post stamp with enough of one kronas. And I think that's about it. Another lip gloss. Yeah. And yeah, and I would say actually this purse or whatever it is makes me think a lot of traveling or of what I really need in life because I have to declutter it on a regular basis. I either have to put in a pencil or take the pencil sharpener out and then I really have to think about what I need this stuff for. And I really like taking with small things from the travels, from the people I meet. Like if if they give something to me, like a business card, a memory or something. Oh yeah, I got a business card here of uh, an emergency house door opening business, but I actually don't need that because I have my faithful Moby Dick with me all the time. So, um, yeah, please uh, don't show me your purses unless you really want to, but please do comment on anything that you want to know about me or about my purse or about uh, responsible packing <laughs> and I would love to hear your stories and actually for every idea about you what you want to hear next on Faye TV I would um, put you in the pot for the draw for this uh, gravity postcard. See you!